Hi. Warning. Book hoarder ahead. Book hoarder ahead. Turn back now I if mean, you can. Look at these books she got. And these are just some of them. Just. And it's only March. Yeah, it's it's, it's not, not for the whole year. year. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to Life as Miss Cooks. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope that you hang around and that you can grab something here that you enjoy. Grab something? You know what I mean. Anyhow, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the books that I purchased for the month of March. And as the girl stated, it, it, it may seem like a lot, but it's really not. They think I'm this crazy book hoarder, but I promise you I'm not. I just love to read and read to them anyways okay getting started so my youngest son got these at our homeschool co-ops book swap he was eyeing this from the time that we walked in and this is the flat stanley series and i think it's books one through four and then there's a couple of extras in there also as well and it came with a really cute flat Stanley cutout also too. So he was happy to receive those and I was too because he was happy. We also picked this one up from there. The Royal Diaries Marie Antoinette, Princess of Versailles, Austria, France, 1769. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The one was The Toothpaste Millionaire by Jean Merrill. Trying to get that glare out of there. There you go. And then we picked up Double Trouble in Walla Walla by Andrew Clements. And then I was at a garage sale and I picked up Geronimo Stilton, A Very Merry Christmas and Preschool Phonics Reader. And each of those books, I think, were a quarter at the garage sale. And as you can see, can you find the correct words to match these pictures? And then you just match them. It has leg. And so, I'm sorry. Can you guys see? And I picked this up. I'll do this with my um, niece when she's here during the summertime. And I know that you guys heard me mention this before. My oldest son is in love with the I Survive series. He actually did not like to read prior to the series. And he's gone through nine, I think he told me today, of these books. So that's like a miracle. So we picked up, um, and we picked this up at half price. I Survived the Destruction of Pompeii. And I think it's pronounced Pompeii. It may be Pompey, but I say Pompeii. Mm. The Bombing of Pearl Harbor, 1941. I Survived the Bombing of Pearl Harbor, 1941. And then I also picked up What Was Pompeii. The, um, these, the two Pompeii, we're actually going to be studying the time period Rome to Reformation next year. And so we'll be reading those during that time period. And we love the Magic Treehouse book series. And so I picked up number 16, Hour of the Olympics. And then I also got the fast track that goes with it, Ancient Greece and the Olympics. We're going to read these later this year um, as we're studying Greece, a classic, because of Winn-Dixie. And y'all already know how my daughter feels about the American Girl series. And she recently got Josephina for her birthday. And we found Meet Josephina. Heart to Heart. And it's a book of poems. We are going to start focusing more on poems um, this coming semester. So um, we'll be reading a lot of that. I'm going to do this as a literature study with my oldest daughter. It's called um, The Animal Farm. And this um, 
this one here i got i purchased two of these because i'm gonna read it i'm gonna try to read ahead of her just so i can kind of see what's coming and what will be expected i found the um literature guide and it's by total language plus and then i also picked up the spark notes to this so that it can um i'm gonna read this as well so that i can get some discussion topics um so me and her can discuss as we're reading the book i got this idea from candace i believe it was candace over at homeschool on a hill and i'll link a card up here so that you guys can go check out her homeschooling channel she is the bomb guys i love her channel peter rabbit and 11 other favorite tales we're going to do this as a literature study with my second grader adventures of tom sawyer and this is um stepping stone so it's a classic but it's not the full version of it it's more so for the younger kids and so i'm going to be reading this with um the younger three frog and toad all year this is one of my second graders he loves frog and toad and so we picked this one up I got this for a dollar at um, our local bookstore. It's The Wednesday Wars by Gary Schmidt. Or Schmidt. And this is by, um, this is about a seventh grader whose seventh grade teacher is making him read Shakespeare and he's not too happy about it. So we'll see what this is about. Nothing to Fear. And this is by Jackie Kohler. And I also got this for a dollar at a local bookstore. We're going to read this. This took place around, um, the story takes place during the Great Depression. Living on the Devil's Doorstep. We love um, the YWAM books. They are, um, if you guys are not familiar for them, they write about, um, they're true stories based on missionaries. And so we have loved, we've read a few of them in the past and we've loved them. So we're going to read this one next. I'll probably read this first and garden of virtues my oldest daughter is a birder she's also um, taking courses to be a veterinarian and so she loves anything animals especially birds um, since she also birds in her free time and so we found this coloring book on sale at Mardell's beautiful birds coloring book really we also picked up the animals or I'm sorry, Animals, a Visual Encyclopedia. Guys, the pictures in here, the pictures in here are amazing. I'm trying to see if you guys can see those, okay. I mean, it has some really nice pictures in here. So we're gonna enjoy that one too. I picked this up at Mardell's. The Way They Learn, How to Discover and Teach to Your Child's Strength. And this is by Cynthia Tobias. I picked this up and it's so funny the way this worked. The night before I picked this up, my oldest daughter had mentioned to me that the way I was teaching her something was not the way that she could learn it. And I was teaching it the way that I learned and it didn't make any sense to her. And so I'm going to focus hard on making sure that I am teaching um, to each one of them the way that they can receive it. And I think that's very important. It doesn't matter how much time we put into teaching. If they don't understand it the way that we're teaching it, then they're not getting it. So, yes. Anywho, this was 50 Cent at Mardell's, and it's called Fly a Little Higher, How God Answered a Mom's Small Prayer in a Big Way. I have a feeling this is going to be a tearjerker. I was reading what it was about, and um, it's the story of uh, a mom. Her son was given a year to live, and I normally don't like to read stories like this because they make me cry i'm a cry baby when it comes to things like this but it was 50 cents so i'm gonna see how far i can get into this and i'll let you guys know how it is after i've read it my oldest daughter actually has been eyeing this and so she brought it up to me when we were in mardell's the other day if i could ask god anything I was skimming through this and i really like this and i think we're gonna actually take our time and go through this and it's by Katherine Slatery we're gonna take our time and and kind of go through this I love some of the questions that's in here and how they answer the questions why does God want me to be involved in a church there is an old saying that there are no long-ranger Christians 
This is because God did not create you to be alone. The church is God's great big family and he wants you to be part of it. Galatians 6 and 10 and then also in 1 Timothy 3 and 15. And then it goes on to say, God wants you to share his love with others. God wants your faith to grow. Being involved in a church is a great way to do these things. And so there's just a, a book of questions that children, you know, may have or may ask and some really quick answers to them. Drawing with children. This was actually recommended by my father's world um, for my son's first grade curriculum last year. However, I purchased that curriculum used, so this was not um, in it. And so I was not going to buy because it was a bit pricey to me. However, we seen this at Bardell's the other day for $4.75. So I picked it up. My children love to draw and they're very crafty. So we're going to incorporate this in our art lessons um this year and it'll be more of like a free time thing um and then my oldest son again like i said they love to draw so he picked this book out cars and trucks and it was two dollars and 48 cents at mardell's and so it's just simple ways to draw cars and trucks and they also have different ones they have cats kittens pets dinosaurs insects farm animals so on and so forth this was $2.50, the alphabet dot to dot. I got this for my niece because when she comes over, she's always saying, hey, kid, can we do school? Can we do school? And so I try to pick up books when I see them for her. Um, the best part about this is that it is laminate, so you can use a dry erase marker and you can wipe it off whenever you're finished. So we can use this more multiple times. Discovering the five love languages at school. Lessons that promote academic ex excellence and connections for life. I think this was intended for um, teachers in a school setting. However, I thought it would be good um, for me to kind of look over and skim through because there's different ways that you can teach according to your child's love language in here. And so again, I told you I'm trying to learn ways to teach them according to the way that they receive information um so i think this would be would also help this was three dollars and 75 cents on sale at mardell's as well so that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget if you're new here please subscribe so that you can hang around and there's a bell button down there guys if you click on that bell button you'll get notifications whenever i upload new videos so I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.